All right, it's time for our weekly visit with UAB quarterback Jacob Zeno, presented each week by Legacy Credit Union, the official credit union of UAB. Welcome in, Jacob. How are you today? I'm doing real good. How are you doing? Doing great. Thanks a lot. Uh, Tulane next on the schedule for the Blazers, Saturday, 11 o'clock. We'll talk about that game in a moment, but I, I do want to look back. You know, you went and played the number one team in the country. I know you guys aren't looking for moral victories, but I, I think if you step back and look at the way your team performed on that stage, can right. can you find some positives coming from that, even in a loss? Right. Yeah. No, we talked about that after the game. Um, how we don't really believe in more victories, but, you know, like I said last week that, our main goal was to get better, and um, Coach Dufford said that we did that, uh, and it showed up on the on the field, you know. And so now uh, we got to build on what we did last week and carry it over for Tulane. When you watch them on film, they, they, look, Kirby Smart is known for his defense. It's been one of the best defenses in, in the country for years now, really. Uh, when you watch them on film and then play them in person, did the did the in person match what you saw on film? Was was it the defense you thought it would be? Um, yeah, I was, you know, uh, the D line was pretty big, uh, but other than that, you know, once we got down to it, we were just playing football. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you have to do, right? Yeah. Uh, legacy everyday checking now available for teens, 13 through 17 with adults sign up, teach your kids how to manage their money and handle their debit card responsibility. No monthly fees, no minimum balance required and get paid early. Apply online in minutes, legacycreditunion.com slash join terms and conditions may apply. Legacy is federally insured by the NCUA. All right, so Tulane is next. There's a lot of facets to this game. First of all, it is the very first American Conference game in UAB history. This is a big moment for UAB as a team. Does Is, is there any talk about that? Does it feel any different, the fact that this is kind of a, a, a big occasion for UAB athletics? Yeah, uh, it really is. You know, Coach Dilfer said that uh, we got to reset now and that uh, – sorry, my dog over okay, here playing around. That's okay. What kind of dog yeah. is it? I got a little pit bull. Uh oh. Yeah. He um <laughs> Coach Dilfer was saying how, you know, we got to reset now. Um, and that, you know, this is where it really starts. You know, we had the four games that were in our conference, but this is where we got to go on a run and, and go on that stretch and, and build on what we were doing uh the past four weeks. So, you know, uh, you know, we're changing lockers. It's it's a completely fresh start, you know, to to build on and try to win this American conference. All right, so all right, let me stop right there. Changing lockers. So yeah. walk me through that. What what's what's the story there? Uh, he says we need a, a clean slate, a clean start with everything. So we're changing lockers. We're just get rid of get rid of everything, and uh, you know, and try to play football and go on this run. Do you keep a pretty neat locker? Or are you a pack rat? Was that a pain? No, no, so you no keep a neat one. No, nah, I have a neat locker, so it's not gonna be hard moving my stuff around. Okay, what's yeah. the, what's what's the key to a neat locker? What is what is the main key there? Um, I would say I have two cleats and one pairs of workout shoes on the right. bottom, and then I keep all my loops on my right side, and uh -huh. then everything else I keep in my cubby. But yeah. I don't really have a lot of stuff in my locker, so it wouldn't get messy. Yeah. So you got a you got a plan for this. You 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 were working ahead of time. Okay. I like it. I like it. Uh Tulane has been uh the standard bearer. Uh and and I know you probably don't like the phrase group of five, but you know that's that that's what this gets labeled. But on this level of football, Tulane has been the standard bearer for the better part of a of a season. When you look at them on film, uh, I, I've watched them a couple of times. You know way more football than me, obviously. They look as good as they were last year. I don't know that there's been a whole lot of drop off of them. Yeah, um, you know, we started watching them a little bit yesterday. Uh, and they are, you know, we got a we got a challenge ahead of us. Um, so that's why we got to put our head down and uh, and get to work. You know, we know that it's not gonna be an easy victory, and that especially going there um, and playing in that environment. So you know, we got a work cut off for us this week, and uh, you know, we're up for the task. Uh, I know that it's a business trip. You go to play football, but you're going to be in New Orleans, and, right. and a lot of people like going there. Are you a big? Are you a big New Orleans guy? Do you like going to the Big Easy? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, all my family lives there, so you know it's oh, going to yeah. be fun seeing them and and getting to spend time with them and everything. So you know it's going to be good. What is the uh, what is the best dish like in that in that realm of food, like the Cajun or Creole food? What's the best dish that you like? Oh man, I, I'm probably the wrong person to ask with that because uh, I'm country. I eat everything, but more on the on the civil side, I would say po' boys can't go wrong with a po' boy. Yeah, they're good. You like a salt, but I like it when it's a good soft bread po' boy. 
You know, yeah. like sometimes you get that hard brain, it just crumbles and falls apart. I don't yeah, like nah, that. Nah, nah. I, I, I don't think I've had a Paul Boy that was as good as a Paul Boy from Louisiana. Yeah, they know how to do it. You just can't, you just can't get it. Yeah, that's that food though, man. When you eat down there, you eat a meal and you're like, God, I don't know if I can eat again the rest of the day. Oh, yeah, you go to sleep. You go straight to sleep. <laughs> I know it's so yeah, heavy. It, it is so heavy. I do love the phrase you just use. I'm a country boy. I'll, I'm a country boy. I'll eat anything because I, I kind of agree with you on that, Jacob. All uh, right, I, but I don't, I don't think you eat the same stuff that I like. I, I eat raccoon. I eat all types of stuff. You eat <laughs> raccoon? Yeah. Yeah, how do you prepare your raccoon? Um, my grandpa skins it and then uh boils it and then you know put it in a pan with some sweet potatoes and with some rice. Wow. Can you I mean I don't I don't know that I mean everybody the joke is it tastes like chicken. I mean, what is raccoon? What is it closest to that that maybe I would have had? I I so my dad doesn't eat it. Uh, and so I say it tastes like roast. And so you already okay. really know that you're eating a raccoon because yeah. you see the bones and stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a, like a pot roast. Right. It is. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. All right. Jacob Zeno, he and the Blazers getting ready to go play Tulane down in New Orleans. If you need some extra cash handy, look no further than Legacy Credit Union. For whatever loan your lifestyle requires, a lifestyle loans just takes a few minutes to apply and you can get peace of mind, affordable low rates, manageable payback plans, a legacy lifestyle loan is crafted just for you. Apply online today. LegacyCreditUnion.com slash join. Terms and conditions may apply. Legacy federally insured by the NCUA and the official credit union of the UAB Blazers. UAB at Tulane, 11 o'clock Saturday, ESPN2. Good luck in the game, Jacob. We appreciate the time as always. Thank you.